Hey everybody, Shabo here. I'm back from a video and today I'm going to be showing you how to get good lighting in your Roblox game. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the toolbox. Next, we're going to go to models up here and then we're just going to type in cloudless skybox or maybe just a cloudless sky. And I'm going to take like one of these. I think this one's pretty good. I'll use this. Now, the reason we want a cloudless sky is if we get right click terrain in toolbox to open up toolbox, you go to view and then click on toolbox right here. We can go into the plus sign of terrain and then type in clouds and then you can get some moving clouds which adds, which makes your game look pretty good. Next, because it does still look kind of ugly, we go to the lighting, we click the plus sign, and the major thing, atmosphere, it makes the game look a lot better most of the time, and you basically just want to always be using this. You basically always want to be using atmosphere, there's some times where you don't want to use it because it can make darker areas look pretty weird. But if your game doesn't have any extreme dark areas, then atmosphere is pretty good to use. Next, we're going to get some bloom for the lights. So I'm going to go to lighting, press the plus sign, go to the bloom effect. And then if we select it, we can go down to properties. And then we, what I would do is change the threshold. You can see it made the lights brighter, change the size pretty high, and then change the intensity down a bit. And I'd say that makes the lights look a look a bit better than they normally do. Here is it with the bloom off and here's it with the bloom on. I'd say that looks pretty good. Next we go to lighting again, the plus sign, and then sun rays effect. This one's also pretty important because obviously if you want some good lighting, you're gonna want some good sun rays. So I change the intensity to something like pretty low, maybe like 0.2 and then change the spread a little bit, maybe to like 0.3 lower the intensity a bit more. And then I'd say that's a pretty good sun. And this one depends on the type of game you're making. If it doesn't matter what time it is, I would just turn the time a bit down to get a little bit of a better sun location. It looks pretty good when it's at like sunset like that. It's a pretty good lighting right there. Next, we're gonna go to environmental. I've discovered about this recently and it does make the game look pretty good, like very good. So we're gonna just put both of these to one and then put the outdoor ambient at zero, 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 which basically is just fully completely dark. And instead of the game being like pitch black, like you would think it would be, it actually looks pretty good with uh, these lighting effects and this shading. There's also a shine effect on some reflective materials because you are able to see a reflection on objects whenever you use this lighting. It's a pretty bad example here, but I think I can see a reflection of the couches over there on this ball right here. So if you can see that little, some, some red over there, I'm pretty sure that's the couch. So it does add some pretty good graphics to your game. And that's how I get good lighting in my game in Roblox. Make sure to set the like button and punch the subscribe button. Peace.